me, Raz, from Whispering Rock. I need to come in there and talk to you. Sorry, senior staff only. What? Really? Senior staff? Fine. I'll get Nick. He's senior staff. I think... Oh, no. Not again. There you go, Nick. Now stay away from these machines. I'm working on finding you a brain to keep you out of trouble. Snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom. Nice to see you again, Rasputin. And you've managed to stay clothed. Very good. Wow! Look at all these gadgets! Gadgets? Sorry. Machines. Psycho-reactive technology? Rasputin, I thought you would recognize these for what they are. These are dreams. Where do you think machines come from? They spring forth from the human imagination. They are human thought made real. I invented that one when I was angry. When I designed that one, I was sad. That one, uh, I was just hungry. Incredible! Glad you like them. You know, I'm not supposed to check out equipment to interns, but Agent Nine seems to put a lot of faith in you, my boy. So, if you'd like to try one out, just let me know. Oh, man. Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? Got any cool devices to lend out? Shh! Interns aren't allowed to check out my devices. But if you were to take your time, say, delivering one of these to Sasha or Mia, well, that would be none of my business. This one is a thought tuner. Use it to find stray thoughts floating around the world. And this psi enhanced camera is for creating photographic memories. I'd train you how to use them, but uh, that would only increase my legal liability. Have fun! And thanks for delivering those items to Sasha and Mia. So is Maligula as bad as people say? Oh, I don't like to think about that name. If my device had just worked better that day, so many things would be different now. Well, I ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very uh, humorous. Brand new mental connection pins available. Let's combine that Psycor with your card so you can rank up. Thank you. 
Thanks for visiting the Automatic. Rituals for new agents. <sighs> Some things never change, I guess. Yep. Okay, let's see if there are any straight thoughts around. Yeah, you don't want to wear something like that for too long. <laughs> Yoink! Voluntarily donated upon death. I have all the paperwork. Uh, somewhere. These people are all dead? Uh, their bodies are. And their brains are no longer capable of thought. But I've preserved them here, in the brain frame. What for? Experiments. Ew. Really? No room for the squeamish in psychic science, Sonny. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. We've only begun to explore its mysteries. That is, after all, the true mission of the Psychonauts. Someday, my brain will live here, and yours too. What? Should have read that NDA more carefully. This person died in jail. I just want to squish that one. You shouldn't be back here. Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? May I please borrow a brain? Don't be so hard on yourself. Yours seems to be working okay. <laughs> no, I mean from the brain frame. <gasps> what? Those brains are part of a sacred trust. I am their guardian, and they will never leave the safety of the brain frame. Then again... Yes? Well, there are some brains I've been having trouble um, processing. I can't integrate them because they're missing donor IDs, consent paperwork, that kind of thing. Huge pain in the keister. I probably wouldn't even notice if one of those uh, disappeared. Mm -hmm. Well, I ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very uh, humorous. one looks not bad. Not bad at all. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind pop-ins.
Hmm. Maybe I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? How long have you been in here? What's your name? Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words. You're saying words to me? <laughs> what was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? No, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God, or the universe, or the ultimate cosmic oneness, or something in that jam. Am I right? Well, basically, right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Huh? But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything. I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe. Or when I destroyed it. If I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Have rain, we'll travel. Back to the mail room to put it in Nick's head. Yeah. Nick! TV? Nick, how would you feel about an upgrade to your sense of self-protection? Ooh. Can you hear me? Ball of light. Are you in there? Light. Dark. And every flavor in between. But all these colors are just one band in this sensual rainbow of rainbows. What is this room? And how can I taste it all at once? And who composed this symphony? Uh, Nick? One symphony is beautiful, but a hundred all at once? Oh god, I can smell the Big Bang! There's an ant in the wall that's grinding its teeth. Everythingness, oneness, nothingness, nothingness, nothingness! Is this cashmere? It's too delicious! I should really go back in there. But I'm just a little scared. I am aware of the position of my body and... Hey, Nick. I've got something here that will help. Is it a blindfold? Earplugs? better. Ooh, I don't know if you want to come in. Whoa, 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 what the? Ball of light? Are you in here? I'm here. Everything's here. Too many things are here. You're experiencing a sensory overload. Try to stay calm. Whatever you do, don't have a... Ah! 
How do we get out of here? Your handling is so much better than I would be. I feel like I'm about to go on stage. Oh no. I can't breathe. My heart is racing. I have a heart. I don't like it here. My fight or flight response is triggering. I say nothing. I don't know how to beat it. It's just too fast. Dear universe, please shut up! There we are. This is good. Let's stay here. I don't like the looks of these, but I guess they're a sign that he's remembering something. Hope this is a good memory. Where are we? Shh. It's a quiet place. I don't like the looks of these, but I guess they're a sign that he's remembering something. Hope this is a good memory. I think I hear someone knocking. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. Can we get out of here? It's not safe out there. Are you going to stay in here forever? I've already been in here one forever. Another forever won't kill me. Uh, come in? Yeah, and you're needed on stage. Come on, Psy King. My dark place! Psy King? There's some emotional baggage nearby. Wow! You know, Vision sounds a lot like my friend Ford. Were you in a band with Ford Queller? Ha! <laughs> good old Vision. He always had such a good eye for, you know, visuals. I see. Well, maybe when your full memory returns. How's everybody doing tonight? Nice. Okay, here's the situation. Nick's body is sending you all sorts of sensory input. Smells, tastes, visual sounds, tactile feedback. You've just got to deal with it. We know how to deal with a crowd, man. Speak for yourself. I don't remember a thing. You know what this crowd wants? Yeah, they came for a feast of the senses. So give it to them. Oh, wow, man, it's been so long, I, I I don't even know where my violin is. What is a Feast of the Senses? Is it a band? Well, it's more than a band, man. It's a non-stop festival of sights, sounds, smells, feelings, and flavors. And yes, it was our old band. Our old friends. I'll find your violin. Just tell me where you last used it. Can I even remember what it looked like? Yeah, if only you could see the world the way I see it. the inside of an eyeball would be goopier? Huh. This kind of reminds me of our old stage setup. Coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's 
What's that, a new friend? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, that's right, it's that kind of world. Oh. Ooh, pretty. Eyes on the window, color is the bridge. Things are too fast. Check this out. Whoa! When you're alone as long as I was, time loses some of its meaning, and your perception of it becomes your reality. Want to give it a try? there are. I'm starting to remember that there might be more. Yep. Is that a fish? I think it's a fish. Or a bus. I forget which is which. Well, you rode on it, so I guess it's a bus. Got eyes on the target. And I've got eyes on me. Hi. I see the violin. Did you see it? Sorry if you already saw it. I just think we should be checking in with each other. You know? Yeah. <laughs> 
Why do you put his violin in here anyway? To protect the sound? Is it climate control? I said this, but eyeballs are kind of gross. If 
if you look at them closely. I already feel horrible for saying that. Oh, I know this one. This is a blender, right? Well, this is a strange way to use a blender. Oh, you're right, it's a lamp. A lamp for making drinks. Yep. Ah, good old vision. He always had such a good eye for, you know, visuals. We are all just frequencies in the same beam of light. Rainbow bound and wounded. Do you think that statue is big enough? Ah, oh, well, you need a big ego at the front of the band, am I right? <laughs> My eyes feel so full, I think they might throw up. Is that possible? Is that what crying is? Better, but to handle a crowd that size, we need the whole band, man. We need Tasty, Sniffles, Dr. Touch. And Audie. Yeah, Audio. You'll remember him, man. <laughs> Where are they all now? Oh, they wandered off when the audience left. Could be anywhere. This festival covers so many acres. Hey! <gasps> Didn't we used to have a cool band van? Mobile. I'll bet they're still at the festival somewhere. Woohoo! So what's driving? 
They might have wandered into the campgrounds, it's true. Careful! This van's barely holding together as it is! Sorry. Good idea. Let's look here. Well, this is the campground. Dr. Touch and Artie used to like to come here. They like to get high out here. So, you're saying they're up there? Yep. The view up there is amazing. I feel like I'm about to go on stage! Stay calm, man. Stay calm. I've heard about music festivals like this. This one is surprisingly clean. This hat box needs a hat box tag. Uh, oh. Still, where are all the bathrooms? Toot my own horn or anything. <laughs> Suitcase tag. Gotcha. <laughs> we always do. No, we don't. See? Here you go. Me? You started this. Oh, choo-choo! Here comes the blame train. For someone who's all ears, you really don't know how to listen. For someone who's all fingers, you've really lost your grip on reality. Didn't you guys see the huge crowd down there? People are screaming for the Feast of the Senses. That's what I've been telling this one. But the problem with him is that he just won't listen. Without psyching, there is no feast. There's... Nothing. But Psy King is back. What? He's down by the van with Vision. But we're not ready. We haven't practiced. Dr. Touch, where are our instruments? I, I thought you had them. Let me take a look. I bet I can find them. Sounds good to me. Let me give you a hand. Okay, two instruments coming up. Hey, I love what they've done with the place. Okay. Let's get those instruments and get out of here. If I know Audie, this is gonna sound awesome. Oh, and Dr. Touch is good, too. Careful. Dr. Touch can be a little handsy.
instruments. Nothing between me and them except that innocuous looking empty platform. Oh, Audie and I used to sneak up here and talk about our hopes and dreams. So beautiful. again. Just so, so great. You look good, Psy King. Let's face facts, guys. It's not going to work unless we get the whole band back together. Well, we need sniffles and tasty. Excited about getting the band back together, Vision? I will be as soon as we get tasty and sniffles back. Excited about getting the band back together, Vision? 
I will be as soon as we get Tasty and Sniffles back. First tag. Let's go somewhere else. Everybody, back in the van. Can't beat that old van smell. These are the concession stands. If they got hungry, good idea. Let's look here. Tasty and Sniffles hung around here a lot. Oh, so many scents and flavors. And lines, man. So many long lines. I'll go find Tasty and Sniffles. <laughs> wow, look at all the Nicks. They sound hungry. into that hungry crowd, they would eat me. Aha! There they are! Excuse me? Hang on, kid. We're trying to decide what to order. You can eat after the show. Vision and Psy King are waiting by the van. What? Psy King is back? Let's get our instruments. We've been in this line for so long, I'm not even sure where they are. You guys let me take a look. I'll bet I can find them. Oh, Tasty, I can't decide. Well... Maybe I can find their instruments before they make up their minds. I have to admit, I am a little afraid of this one. Why, because of all the tongues and boogers? <laughs> That's all just part of being in a band, man.
say what you will about the tongue, but it's a very sensitive and capable. It's one of those double decker buses. Here's the steamer trunk tag. That ugly muscle back in your mouth, tasty. Creeps hate you so much. Hey, I can taste you. Wanna know what you taste like? Not really. You taste like shoes. Can you taste the sewers? What's that smell? Oh, God, it's my own sweat. Hey, hey, don't. I can smell my own sweat. You're not supposed to be able to do that, are you? Oh, God. Now I can taste it. Oh, I... St. Bernard turned inside out. You know that without smelling, most flavors fall flat. That's a nose fact. That certainly took a long time. Come on, our fans are waiting. Smells. Teamwork. 
Oh, I gotta say, Sacking, you're almost looking like your old self again. I'm sorry I abandoned the band, you guys. Hey, it's gonna make for a better rockumentary someday. Time for the feast. Feast! Just a thought is all I've got Now my cover's blown At the bottom of a lake Of frozen feeling When my friends pulled me back up I started healing My cosmic eye Senses are the magic keys They fill the holes I've had Unlocking all my memories I never Never Wanna bet Helmut Uh oh Oh, oh no, no Not, not again. again I know her from Lobato's nightmare. I know her from my nightmares. <laughs> Don't worry. All your friends are here. Friends? Oh, do you mean these friends? The ones who abandoned him in the ice for 20 years. Don't listen to her. Dear universe, please, shut up!
There we go. That's better. Problem solved. Ball of light? You're a helmet full bear! Everyone thinks you died in the deluge of Grulovia. What happened? <sighs> I can't remember much of anything. Well, if you don't mind, I can try to help with that. my stupid plan to defeat Maligula. You okay? So far. You okay? Are you trying to slow them down or destroy them? You were going to act her to death? did a monologue about Lucy's life and what she meant to us, to try and bring her back. I was useless that day. You think you were useless that day? I tried to stop her with a motivational speech. Actually, Fulbert, you distracted her long enough that I was able to recruit some local animals to help. Which also didn't work. We all brought what we had to the battle. The main thing was, your beautiful performance did bring out the old Lucy. Just for a bit. It reminded us that she was in there. So, Maligula used to be... And her name was... Lucy? <sighs> was she the seventh member of the Psyche? I'm learning a lot. Yeah, me too. You guys! I'm right here! Where are you going? Why did you all abandon me for a thousand years? Twenty. Maybe in your world? Did they even look for me? Did they all forget I existed? We did look for you, fool bear. But my stupid hyper high glaciator there, which we brought to freeze Maligula, well, it... Uh... It worked as designed, Otto. But you were so deep in that frozen lake, we couldn't find you. No matter how much we dug. You're just speculating here, Helmet. I think you're probably right. But I sent you my brain, Ford. Didn't you find it? I... I don't know. Ford must have brought your brain back because I found it in Otto's lab. But he must have lost that memory when his mind was shattered in the battle. My brain was shattered? Well, come on. It was a little cracked to begin with. My body's been in hyper-ice all this time. I'll bet I look amazing. Almost done. I'm starting to enjoy it now. Almost done. I'm starting to enjoy it now. Oh no, I can't look. This is where that monster drowned my Bobby. Because I failed. Because my stupid plan couldn't save him. No, you saved me. You threw yourself into the path of danger, sacrificing yourself to save me. Rather dramatically, I might add. Well, I mean, thank you. So, I'm not dead. I'm out there somewhere waiting for you to... Come back to me. I'm coming to you. Right now. I swear. Better hurry. You know how I get. Memories, my boy. 
Just a show we put on inside our heads. Sometimes the first draft of the script stinks. Thanks for helping me with the rewrites. Now let's go give the people what they want. <laughs> Everybody stand back! Remember, this is our friend, Lucy! She's going through a tough time. I think she might just need someone to listen to her. Save your sympathy for your shrubbery, Zanato. Time out, Lulu! your body yet, Forbear, but not to worry. I've got your brain, and I'm going to keep it safe back at HQ and come back for the rest of you. Just after I figure out what to do with Lucy. Okay. I know you won't forget about me. I don't think anybody's going to forget about you after that performance. In fact, I think they're demanding an encore. Senior staff only. I'm... Who am I again? Nick John Smith. Nick John Smith, senior mailroom staff. Welcome, Helmet Fulbear, deceased. About time they sent me an assistant. Ford's gonna be so excited when he figures out who you really are, Agent Fulbear. Everybody is. Kid, I owed you one, and now we're square. But I'm not ready to face Cruller. Not until I talk to Bob. But Lots of baggage to unpack. You wouldn't understand. But please, tell no one of my return. But- I'll see you at curtain call! Oh, somebody shut that door before the wind blows all my letters away! <laughs> <laughs>